Hi everyone, in this short tutorial I want to show you how you can add color variation to a forest using the tinting feature, but uh, before we get started, uh, I converted this tree from a Polyart Dreamscape Meadows um, asset, and I want to show you uh, one of the settings on the materials. So on conversion, uh, the gradient was applied uh, to color the vegetation, but in addition to that, I enabled the uh, dithering glancing angle to cut out uh, these uh, leaves, which are uh, per perpendicular to the camera view. And I uh, set the normal spherical to one to make the shading a bit more flat okay and uh, in order to to color the vegetation globally we will use the tinting so we need to go to the tinting and enable it and once this is enabled now uh, we can go to the visual engine manager and enable the tinting i can set a color and it will be colored uh, using that global color, but instead of using uh, only one global color, I want to add some uh, noise uh, to add some variation to the trees. So I will you I will uh, go back to the the material, search for tinting, and I will enable the use paint elements uh, to color the vegetation using elements, and in this case. Uh, I will set this multi mask uh, to zero because we don't have any uh, mask on the leaves uh, to mask out the leaves from the branches. Okay, and uh, for the elements, uh, I will set this uh, tinting intensity back to zero and I will simply create a new element. Move this to the origin okay and scale it up i will move this element below the, the ground so we don't see it and instead of using the paint tinting the, the simple element i will use a paint noise element and with the paint noise element we can set two colors uh, based on a noise on a uh, procedural noise i will scale up this noise so we can see it better and change the colors because uh, they are too bright okay i think i will go to uh, with two green uh, colors and after that add some uh, uh, color variation patches um, around so i will go with some light green some darker green and i will remap this noise so we can see the the effect better and maybe scale it up Okay, maybe something like this. So, uh, what you will notice is that this element over here is sampled in word space. So, some trees, maybe I should make them uh, a bit more visible. You will noti notice that uh, this color uh, is creating these gradients from one tree to another because uh, this element is sampled in word space. So in, uh, instead of sampling it in word space, I want to sample it per tree. Uh, this is super easy to do. If you go to the uh, leaves material again, under the global settings, uh, 
you can control how the uh, the elements uh, render texture is sampled so instead of sampling it in word space i want to uh, sample it per pivot or per pivots because tv is uh, uh, supporting multiple pivots and i will set this paint pivots slider to one and now each tree is getting is sampling a color from that uh, from this element uh, I will create a new element, move it up so we can see it better, and uh, I will add some new colors over here, maybe some yellowish and some orange, and for this one I will uh, use this mask. and scale it okay and now we can play again with the the tiling and in this way you can add a local variation only to uh, some of the the trees okay uh, what if i want to to use some uh, uh, Maybe I want to create seasons and in that case I want to color everything with uh, some orangish color. In that case I can create a new element, move it up and for the first three elements uh, I can set them to only affect the uh, summer color for instance and uh, for this one which is uh, for the autumn, I want to set some orange colors, something like this. And uh, I want to set the winter, spring and summer value to zero. Okay, this is super bright. So I will make it something like this and move it up uh, move it down again so uh, with elements you need to be careful uh, how you place them because the one on top will be rendered over the others so i want these elements uh, for the summer to be below and uh, this element which is uh, for the autumn autumn to be on top and now if i move the this slider, you can see that in the summer uh, we get the coloring from the these two these three elements, and in the autumn it will get the uh, coloring from the uh, last element, which is set on top. Uh, what I want to do is to change the tiling a bit so we have some uh, odd, some uh, variation to the autumn as well. Okay, and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.